Good morning. We're joined by Republican Senate candidate Troy Downing. Welcome to the show. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. So I want to know exactly, I think most of our viewers want to know, why you are running for the U.S. Senate against, uh, to get the Republican nomination against John Tester. Well, it's about the American dream. It's about protecting the American dream. You know, I, I grew up without much and, and, and built the American dream, and I think it's under threat. I think that the federal government has gotten too big and too deep into our lives, and I worry about that opportunity being available for my kids and my grandkids and, and my community and my country. And I think there's a lot of parts of that. I think we're sending too many career politicians to do the work of the people. I think we need to get back to an idea where we take somebody that's relevant, somebody that's done something, you know, run a business, built a company, uh, served in the military, somebody that's done something relevant, send them to D.C. to do the work of the people and send them back. I'm tired of career politics. I want to see the end of the career politician and the reemergence of the statesman. Now, if you get the Republican nomination, you're going to be running against John Tester. Can yes. you tell me something about John Tester that you actually admire? Something that I admire about him? Um, you know, he, uh, John Tester, uh, you know, he campaigns hard on being an advocate for veterans in mm -hmm. a state where uh, we have one of the largest veteran populations. It's about 10% of our population. And, uh, you know, he campaigns hard on being a friend, but I have to say he, he's failed. I, I am a combat veteran. I have been to war. I'm involved with the uh, veteran community in this state. You know, I'm a life member of the Montana VFW. I'm active in my post. I work with a foundation that uses fly fishing for therapy for wounded veterans in Bozeman here. It's a big part of my life. And it really, actually, it, it bothers me that he campaigns so hard as being a friend of the veterans when I see one of the highest rates of veteran suicides, a high rate of veteran unemployment, and a VA that's uh, in shambles at best. I, I, I think that that's a problem. One of the things that you position yourself in your campaign is you're a pretty close ally. You, you suggest you're going to be a close ally of President Trump. Now, of course, James Madison talks about ambition, countering ambition. How are you not going to be just a rubber stamp for Donald Trump when you go to the Senate if you win? Well, it, it's not about being a rubber stamp for the president. It's about what do you support. And me, as a businessman, uh, I support having somebody that has solved problems in the private sector, knows how to use private sector accountability to, to fix problems that are going on. I think that's important. I think that that's working. When you create opportunity for Americans, when you get the government out of the way, uh, we, we do amazing things, and one of the things that I'm happy about the president putting America first and getting the regulatory environment that is holding us back out of our way, I, I think we can do amazing things. So when I think about the president and what he's trying to do, uh, get slash regulation, uh, protect this nation, strong military, that's all stuff that, that, that I support strongly, but it's not about being a rubber stamp for anybody. I think we need thinkers. June 5th is the election. Make sure you all go out and vote. And right now I'm going to toss it over to Matt, who's going to talk about the local weather. So thank you for being on the Thanks show. Thanks for having me.